Hello, hello, hello! In today's video we will be trying for the national teams. First we will make Shang Ling our main DPS, second we will make Furina our main DPS. And after that we will talk about situation when perfect team is not the solution. It's for the nationally viable team, let's find out! Shang Ling, one of the most broken character in the entire game. Good thing she is a 4 star and you can get her for free. And she is the main reason why national team is so good. But recently I've noticed one thing, I'm not using Shang Ling that I used her before. And I think this is the good thing rather than the bad thing. It's not because Shangling was power crept, it's because the game is evolving and we are getting more variety how we can build our teams. But recently I've got upgrade for her energy Richard Sons. And right now my Shangling finally can use full emblem set. And today I want to refresh my memories, I want to give her a little bit more screen time and I want to try new Shangling teams featuring Furina of course. So yes, today we will try to make Furina national team walk. Shanglings build. Let's quickly look at the build that I'm using. For the weapon I'm using Favonius Lance. In most teams I preferring Favonius over the catch. Yes, with catch we can do more damage. But in most teams I preferring Favonius over the catch because of better energy management. If you have around 200 energy just it will immediately restore you 12 energy when you use her burst. And if your artifacts has a lot of attack percentage on it because Favonius has higher base attack, the damage difference wouldn't be so high. Sometimes I'm still using the catch because this depends on the team mostly. But if your Shangling still has energy problems with the catch, you can try Favonius and you will see the difference. Sometimes smoother rotation is better than more damage. For artifacts, of course, I'm using full emblem set. My Shangling is Constellation 6 with the talents H11 and 12. And for the stats, we have very poor crit ratio 60% crit rate and 180 crit damage. But I'm still thinking that my Shangling is quite balanced because without attack sense and without pyro resonance we still have 1.3 thousand attack and 250 elemental mastery without elemental mastery sense. So even with this bad crit ratio we'll still be dealing very decent damage. And my Shangling has 202 energy recharge. This is enough if you are using Favonius. And this Shangling we'll be using for entire video today. What is national team? Let's quickly remind ourselves why national team is so good. And let's start with Shangling Bennett combo. And these two are covering their weak sides. Shangling has energy problems. And Bennett has really low cooldown on his skill and can battery her really fast. Another thing, Bennett has very massive attack buff. And this allows Shangling to totally forget about attack stat. And you can focus 100% on building energy recharge on her. And Shangling covering Bennett's weak sides too. The main problem of Bennett is circle. And if enemy leaves the circle, you are losing his utility. But this is not a problem for Shangling. Her burst can snapshot. You need to use her in the net circle and after that it doesn't matter. If enemy will leave the field, Shangling will still maintain the buff. Another strong side of Shangling is no ICD and every hit of Pyronada can be vaporized. And that's why Singso is really good here. There are not that many characters that can override Shangling Pyro application and Singso is one of them. Yes, sometimes different hider character can be used, something like Yelon or Child, but the main criteria of using them is very strong hider application. And what if we use Furina as the Hydra character in this team. It will come with two problems. First of all, Bennett's healing is not enough for Furina. Second, Furina's Hydra application is not enough to make Shangling wave. And to make this team work, we need to solve these problems first. Shanglings, Pepper Ice. And let's start with the first team. And first we will try to make it proper way. We'll make Shangling the one who trigger reaction. And the easiest way to do so will be by adding another Hydra character to the team for more Hydra application. And the best candidate for this role would be Kokomi. She has very decent Hydra application and she can fulfill healer role to maintain Furina's buff. But there is one unfortunate thing, I don't have Kokomi. So we will go with the free to play Kokomi, Barbara. And what Barbara adding to this team? First of all, more Hydra application. She will be our driver with normal attacks. Second thing is healing, either with her skill or with her burst. And because she will be used as a driver, I'm using Ocean Hued Clamp set on her. If you can utilize this set properly, this set can add pretty decent DPS to the team. For the weapon, Barbara will be using Thrilling Tails and we will be utilizing this weapon's buff on Changlings too. Let's quickly look at other buffs that we will have in this team. Bennett is using Noblesse Oblige for 20% attack buff with Skyward 
blade. And this would be 1110 attack buff with level 13 burst. And now for Furina. My Furina is C2 and with talent level 10 she will give us 100% damage increase. For the weapon she is using pipe sword and artifacts fall golden true. And we are having double resonance in this team. 20% attack buff is very appreciated for Shangling and 20% HP attack buff is very good for Furina. And I think we have every problem covered with this team. And now let's see at the damage and rotation. Starting with Furina's skill, Furina's burst, Bennett's skill, burst, Barbara's skill for Furina's tails, Goba, Shangling's burst, going to Barbara again, starting normal attacks and 50,000, 50,000, 50, yes 50,000 vaporized from Shangling. Even with bad crit ratio we are doing really good damage. I was a little bit skeptical about Hydro application, but actually this was enough for more or less consistent waves from Shangling. And now let's make real DPS check against Giant Dorita chip. We don't have Dendro or Electra, but who cares, we still destroy this boss. So starting with Furina, Bnet, Barbara, going to Shangling, going to Barbara again and boss is going down. So 50,000 wave and he is going invisible, that unfortunate, but we can quickly destroy these spinners. Now we are trying to recover energy, but unfortunate thing, for some reason I am cannot target this boss. So energy restored, let's go, Furina, okay, Bennett, going to Barbara, Barbara skill, going to Shanglin, Goba, Byronada, Barbara and he is done, he is fried. Yes, Fright, Dorita, don't even try, don't even try to go invisible and yes, he's done, this was really fast. 44 seconds without Dendro or Electra, half of the fight he was invisible, so I'm thinking this is really decent result for this team. Furina's Vaporize. And now we're taking different route. Now we will make Furina Vaporize. Good thing about that, when you're Vaporizing with Hydro character, you are getting more multiplier. When you're triggering Vaporize with Spyro character, you are getting 1.5 multiplier. But when you're triggering Vaporize with Hydro character, you are getting double multiplier. Bad thing about that, Furina's Hydro application is not strong enough and you will not Vaporize with every hit. But the highest scaling summon is Krabaletta and she actually doesn't have an ICD on her attack, so every hit from Krabaletta will make Vaporize. And this makes Furina Vaporize ID is not that bad. And how do we make this work? The best candidate for the last role will be Jin. Let's see what Jin adding to the team. Of course Anima element with very decent veneer, for 40% elemental resistance decrease. And in this team you can thrill both element Hydro and Pyro without losing DPS. Both Shanglings and Furina's damage sources doesn't require you to use normal attacks. And you can easily rotate between characters without losing consistency. And with Jin's slow skill cooldown we can easily swill both elements. And Jin also will add more pyro application for the team. Because Bennett have self pyro application, Jin will constantly swill this element from us and apply pyro to the enemies. And for the weapon she'll be using Aminoma. Other teammates using the same artifacts and weapons. Let's see at the damage and rotation. Starting with Furina's skill, Furina's burst. Jin swirling Hydra, going to Bennett getting hit, Bennett burst, then Shangling, swirling Pyro with Jin, and Furina made 110,000 Vaporize, that's just insane. And Shangling was doing 25,000 Pyronada hits without any reactions. In case you didn't see the damage, let's make it slow. And right now Furina is making 110,000 Vaporize with Krabaletta. Sometimes I'm regretting going for C2 Furina because her damage is too high. But if you have C0 Furina, she would still making really good damage. With same setup it would be around 65-70k Vaporize, which is really good. And let's make real DPS check against Dancing Duo. So starting with Furina, then Jin Swirling Hydra, going to Bennett, getting hit, almost dying, Jin save us, so messing up rotation, but anyways, anyways, this is a good thing about this team, because we don't need perfect rotation, we don't need perfect rotation, we are swirled Hydra, Pyra, everything is swirled, and with first rotation we've done half of the HP, let's go for the second rotation, Purina, Jin swirling Hydra, Bennett, again, again, almost dying, Jin, Jin save us, Jin save us, Again messed up rotation, please, please let me hit you, 
they're pushing us, they don't want to die, but, but their dance is coming to the end. 43 seconds and 2 rotation. And as you can see, our second rotation is still going. And I think we can end them in 2 rotations. We see 0 for Rina 2. When perfect team doesn't work. Sometimes you can make perfect team, go to the spiral abyss and you're getting demolished. No matter what you do, nothing works. As example, if you ever tried Riders National against Whopper Flowers, against Dark Knights or against Small Doggers in Spiral Abyss, you probably had very hard time. Sometimes it can happen because your team doesn't cover elemental needs to break shields etc. But sometimes it's only because you doesn't have crowd control in the team. And right now if you have crowd control on the first half on Spiral Abyss it will make your time a lot a lot easier. And if you go through teams that we was used before, both of them are missing crowd control. And if we want to add crowd control to the team we are losing a lot of DPS. But damage is not always everything in this game. And if we change Bennett in this particular team to Kazuha, your clear time could be way way faster. Yes, we lost a lot of buffs. Kazuha's elemental damage bonus buff, even combined with very decent Vimir G buff, is not enough to keep up with Bennett buff. But simple fact that we are having crowd control in the team will cover all of our losses. With Shangling's burst we want enemies be close to you. And Furina's Krabaleta has medium AoE on her hit, so we want enemies to be as close as possible to gain benefit from it. And Kazuha give us exactly what we want. First let's test how much damage we lost. So let's go. Furina. Then Swirling Hydra. Going to Barbara for Trilling Tails. Shangling. Going to Kazuha to Swirl Fire. Going to Barbara. And how much damage we are doing? 30,000. Yes, 30,000. Away. So we lost 40% of our damage, previously was doing 50,000, but this is doesn't matter. Let's see how this team will perform in Spiral Abyss. So starting with Furina, and getting stuck, getting stuck as always. Alright, let's go, Kazuha, Barbara, Shangling, and the first way is done. So let's go second way, Kazuha spilling again, the Kazuha's burst, going to Barbara, and they're uh, staying together, they're staying together, nice, nice, nice. Go Barbara, go, go Barbara, go. They're dying pretty fast, can we one cycle them? Yes, we can one cycle them, perfect. Kazuka, please finish him. And we're going for the most annoying way. So Furina, Kazuka to group, Barbara for three and tails. Go to Shanglin, Shanglin's burst. Let's go to Barbara. So they split again, they split again, but this is not a problem, Kazuha, Kazuha burst, and they're dying, okay, getting hit, doesn't matter, let's finish them, we need to finish the shield, and this would be really easy with Barbara and Furina combo, couple of hits and he will be done. Yes, he is done. Nice. 1 minute and 11 seconds. Really good result for this champion. Conclusion. What I'm thinking about these teams? Actually, they worked better than I expected. This goes both ways, when we tried Shanglin Vaporize and when we've tried Furina's Vaporize. But I don't think that I will use these teams that much. Because both of them are working extremely well independently. And most of the time you don't want to spend your most valuable supports on the same side of Spiral Abyss. What you are thinking about Furina National teams, let me know in the comments. And thank you for the watching, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.